how not to do white crane spreads its wings. So first up, what I'm not talking about is stylistic differences. And by that I mean whether your arm is up here or whether it's turned out, whether your elbow is high or whether it's low, whether this hand is at hip height or whether it's out at the side somewhere. These are purely stylistic differences that vary from style to style, from school to school, and mean as little as it is if you're talking about language accents, whether you're describing someone from Liverpool or someone from London. All right, mate. Secondly, we're not talking about what it signifies, what it means. Some people argue that white crane means a reference to the journey to the moon, the transition to immortality that the Taoists pursue. Other people talk about its practical self-defense value, of which I haven't seen a single good example of. I once saw someone trying to do a low block using this arm against a kick and they broke their arm. So not talking about that either. So what am I talking about? How do you do white crane well? Well, for me, it's all about what one guy said, which was about if one thing moves, everything moves. If one thing still, everything still. And who said that? It was Chan San Feng. Now, some people argue that Chan San Feng didn't exist. And I'm in no position to contradict that because I wasn't around. But even if he didn't, it still was something worth saying. Someone had to say. So the idea being, and this is where I think the true value of White Crane comes in, and the true emphasis that we should be placing on the move, is that as we move into this posture, we have a distinct challenge, as there are three different limbs moving at the same time, all at different paces. This has got to, right hand has got to come out, come up, and reach up high. The other hand goes down low. Meanwhile, the foot goes out and lands on the floor. So let me step back and show you what I mean. You have to combine one, two, and three movements, all working at different paces, all working at different speeds in order to end at the same point. And that is the challenge for White Crane. That is three in different directions, and your ability to stay rooted, grounded. So that's how not to do white grain and also how to do it at the same time. Okay, thanks for watching.